Not so fast, she points to you. You owe me 130 real. What's, what's real? Slip away and notice. Let's try it. Let's try it. What? It worked? <laughs> That's not slipping away unnoticed. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Lance Silvertooth, and welcome to Disco Elysium. Thank you guys for coming in. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I should have probably Googled it how to pronounce that word before I started this. <laughs> but I hope I pronounce it right and we're gonna start a new game. I've been wanting to play this game for so long. I know it won a lot of game awards back in 2019. It's an RPG game. And uh, it looks like over here we're gonna pick the character build. Uh, the first one is Thinker. Extremely intelligent. That's, that's definitely me. That's me. Very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas, and we got sensitive, very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Hmm. That kind of sounds like me too, actually. <laughs> uh, physical, extremely physical. Oh, I mean, uh, you know it. <laughs> Interacts with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Uh, so over over down here, you can see that uh, some of the points that the, the character has for, for this for this one is intellect, your capacity to reason, your psych, your power to influence yourself and others, physique, uh, how well your body is built, and uh, motorics, and uh, uh, how well you move your body. Nice. So that, that's like uh, your your agility, right? The same. Okay, so I think I'm going to create my own just because I think I'm kind of both a thinker and a, and a sensitive. So let's let's do this. Average. What am I more intellect or sensitive? I would say more sensitive. Actually, now that I'm reading this, it says uh, my sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent I am. I would say... <laughs> Raw brain power, how smart you are. Okay, so fine, like I'll put a little bit more in here. Uh, average, I would say average in this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that sounds about more, more better. More better. Uh, motorates your senses, how agile. Okay, that I think that's... I could put maybe like this in here. I'm not weak. I'm not weak. I, I mean, if I could put it into average, that would that would be much better. Okay, fuck. Fuck it. Let's just let's just do it. <laughs> well, how well you move your body? Are, are they talking about like dancing skills though? I mean, if that's the case, then this would be like ten. Okay, so select your signature skill. The skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Uh, additionally, the learner learning cap for every skill of the same type will be raised by one. All right. Um, set signature logic will draw intellectual power, reduce the world. This is so interesting. I love the art. I love the art so much. Cyclopedia, I'll call upon your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia practice the art of persuasion enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse drama <laughs> like the actor lie and detect lies i'm not a good liar at all but i suck i sucked at this game um among us i, I just cannot hold it i can't hold myself to lying uh concept Understand creativity. See art in the world. Ah, I love that. That's. I feel like that's me. Um, suggestion: Charm men and one play the puppet master. Uh, connect to station forty-one. Understand pop culture. Authority: Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Let's understand others. Work your mirror neurons. I like this one. I feel like I have a lot of empathy towards others. 
Inland Empire, hunches and gut feelings, dreams and waking life. Hold yourself together, keep your morale up. Morale up. Coalition. This is also like, I would say, like I'm really good at this too. Take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Drug of the pain. Pain threshold. Physical instrument. Electrochemistry. Let's, I'm gonna try to uh, go by this really fast. Raise the hair on your neck. Time. Tune into the city. Let the body take control. Threaten people. None of this is me. <laughs> None of this is me at all. Add eye coordination. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. See, hear, and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. I'm pretty good at that too. I think. <laughs> See, like, all you hear is like, me being really good at it, all of this stuff and in reality it's like i'm i'm not good at any of it at all <laughs> quick as to react an untouchable man uh c'est bois uh, uh yeah sneak under their noses stun with immense anash pene pen what a fancy word there's a lot of fancy words in this game so far panache is that how you say it? Interface interfacing. <laughs> See, I, I just tried to say that fancy, but it, it didn't work at all. Master machines pick locks and pockets. Straighten your back. P pick keep your poker face. Okay, so um I'm only allowed to pick one. Am I right? Okay, so let's see. I think I'm gonna go with Okay, so I think I'm gonna pick visual calculus just because I I think it's going to be so interesting if I pick this one. Reconstruct crime scenes? I mean, that, that sounds really good. Make laws of physics work for the law. Let's do it. Confirm. I'm excited. I think the word Elysium, it means that uh something about the afterlife. If yours are at home in the mirror, is there a dress? Even the clear, clearest water, if deep enough, can be what? <laughs> Again. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient reptilian brain. Ever. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever? Ever, ever? Simply keep on. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> and an audience. All amount right, of time baby. Passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. This is great. Give me some more. What was that about the X or something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass Limbic lies system. hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, its bloated and shameful appall of mates surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted to know about the Exum. <laughs> Not this one. Something about, uh some ball of meat and things ex love ex tenderness it is foolish of you to resurface to the loss not after all the damage you suffered to get here some of it irreversible stay sail with me through the abyss of a magic zone Abyss of what? Abyss of Pelagic Zone. Uh, Alan, uh, Alan Z. Never let me go. No, I wanted to get off now. I like pain and burning light. I'm wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Um. I don't like pain. And I don't want things from people who don't want them to give them to me. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Uh, I return 
trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there is a... I am tired of being this type of animal. And who gives a shit? Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal were over. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. No. I need to belittle myself instead. Wait. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, mm. longing, dancing to disco music. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck. And I'm in it. Um, stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless. Disembodied. Nothing. Now, what are they talking about? from your mouth and with it an ungodly headache help oh, someone cut my head off it's trying to murder the rest of me who am i what sort of creature does this to their own mouth a fiery streak penetrates your skull trying to force your eyes open it's a sound a clarion call from hell somehow know what it is. Cupris, Kinema, Motor Carriage. What is going on? Whoa! Somebody had a wild night. Is this like hangover part four? take a look at my jacket put some clothes on uh take all disco as blazer <laughs> looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal it has an enigmatic white rectangle in the back and the right sleeve okay that's us how do we escape closer this guy had a long night man you drink enough that's what's gonna happen you start talking to yourself your brain starts talking to you <laughs> and telling you a whole bunch of stuff that you don't know what what's about old tab to highlight ah okay what are these white satin shirt okay so Automatic that we wear it. Uh, this white sand shirt used to be fancy, it used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. Can we not? Can we take a shower? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Dang. Somebody was mad. Uh, hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Underneath the soft vapor. Let's wipe the mirror off. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Uh, what is that? Inland Empire. Abort! Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see, and you'll never unbecome it. I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. 
picture, there's nothing wrong with my face. Better not now, not to know, leave. No, I want to know. Ah! <laughs> That's a good looking man. I don't know what, I don't know what this talking about. I, I can totally unsee that because it's not very hard to unsee at all. Look at that gorgeous man. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? You know what I just realized? This person and that person is not the same at all. I don't know who this is. Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's um some kind of a superstar. I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. <laughs> um, sure. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Not making it. Face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It's just this. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. The mirror is talking to me. I I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> Um, okay, try to stop. No, keep making the face. You can't? Can you? It's like, not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin in your face. And now, won't come off. Uh, what does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. I don't... It's... Describable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive, I'm afraid. It's meant for the ladies. <laughs> I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too. In a sad, has been kind of way, there's some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Hmm. Uh, is it? Mira, you are correct. Five plus gained experience. Encyclopedia. That's a low. Okay, low chance. This is a white check. You may retry it. Oh, what does that mean? F uh, formidable thirteen. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Possible. Uh. Electrochemistry. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Let the mirror be for now. Sure, let's try this. Check failure. Okay. Both failed. It's too late. Look like an image of unfilmed expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to case for you to cease producing it. Ah, so what do I have? Just like smile that's everlasting. Sounds like that door is locked. Okay, so I can also click right, right click instead of tab. That's our uh, necktie. This fan has two chain pull switches, one end and a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. Truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Savoir uh, medium and grab the tie. Um, pull on the fan. Pull on the light bulb. <laughs> so tempted to do this. Pull on the light bulb. What's gonna happen? Ah! Terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. Practically feel the photo. Photons burning a hole in your brain. Uh, pull again to turn the lights off. No, it's fine. Oh, snap! Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. Sensitivity. It's not good. Okay, I'm not gonna try that again. Um, pull on the fan. Easier to reach. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um... What is this? 
It's like a body with fingers or just arms sticking out. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap, it's released from the blade. What have you... What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Was I trying to kill myself? No, it just reminds us that. Alright, item gained. Horrific necktie. <laughs> It's it's so horrific that it 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 um undo itself from my neck and tied itself into the fan to kill itself. <laughs> um what's gonna happen if I do this? Switch must be broken. Let's leave. Enough of that, let's take the pants. Yeah. Alright, so now we're dressed. What do, what do we got here? You here in Shingle. These are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Huh. Okay. There is a lot of reading in this game. Ah. Wow. <laughs> been here for a while. Just been reading this entire time. Um, which I like. I actually really like to read. I like to read out loud as well. Get my uh, pronunciation practice going. This magnum size bottle. What? I missed that. Sorry, I talked too much. Empty cassette tape. Could probably play that later on. Since uh, someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. What kind of person would do that? This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Alright, can I play... Is it possible? Tools, items. Okay. Can I use it? How do I use it? How do I use this thing? Um... Okay, held. Oh, I can't hold it. Thought I could. Uh, where is a hat? <laughs> okay, well, doesn't do anything, so. Okay, let's go back here. Take the shoe. Only, it's only one pair of shoe, though. Where's the other half? Where's the other half? Ah, I'm losing it. Check this out, I saw this earlier. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold window blows in. Easy nine, excessive damage. They, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scar uh, scarring over the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What does this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments in the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? It says the size of the impact. It's too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. <laughs> Would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. I threw my own shoe out there. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe and all. Only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other. The balcony outside. The door to it should be outside room. Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that shoe. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off? Smashed the window with it? Hmm. Medium success. This person also forced the drinks on you. <laughs> yeah. 
It's my uh my split personality. This this game is actually about split the movie. I should go and get that shoe. Well, I don't need it. It's the same thing. Okay. Uh find your other shoe. That's our main objective. Full wind gushes in, your toes curl up from the cold. I do that a lot. I curl up my toes a lot. I don't really like the cold that much at all. Well, I did grow up in the Philippines, so... Okay, how do we open this up? Shh, what? Soul site not available. Oh, all of a sudden I'm... I'm walk straight. What is this? There's something on the table. What is that? Money? Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. It's not mine. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to go there yet because... Odu Uva Reservation, negative 22 Senate Drift. Must be oh, really cold sorry. outside. Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Does that mean 2051? Officer. What's her name? Bosh. Miss Oran. Disco dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Officer? Am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. <laughs> My bloated face? You mean... Look how gorgeous that is. Come on. Bloated my ass. Uh. Uh, no. She seems perplexed for your question. Wait, I know. A businessman. Chief executive officer, right? And why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh, okay. Um. Are you sure? You shitting me? <laughs> Damn right, I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. <laughs> I like these these uh dialogue options. This is pretty good. Um, you're shitting I'm not, unless you've been shitting us all this time. <laughs> yep, I I have been actually. Uh, all this time. You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. What business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Am I an alcoholic? Do I look like an alcoholic to you? Uh, why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Uh, try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Oh, okay. I should get going now. Hmm, this is a red check. It cannot be retried. Let's do it. Let's just do it. 17%. I mean, let's just see. Let's just see. I expected that. <laughs> the words have already left your mouth. I want to have... What? I want to have fuck with you. Uh, she erupts in laughter. All the fatigue swept from her face. What was that? It's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. I said I wanted to have sex with you. No, you see, that's not what you said. You said she's unable to finish consume the laughter. <laughs> um, do I look like a joke to you? I said I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Damn right you did, you crazy asshole. You. Wipes the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? I'm a cop with the cop apocalypse. <laughs> Superstar cop. I can no longer deny it. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. You're, you're pretty. I'm sorry, I'm the sorry cop. I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. 
Okay, sir, I have to ask you. You really not remember just like that? Tries to think of a lack of your explanation, but fails. You drank so much, she lost her memory. I don't think there's any more to it. I'm a joke of a cop, or I joked about being one. I drank too much, I'm so... Also old. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I drank that much. I mean, it's true. You can really drink yourself to that to that degree and forget about what happened last night. Um, no, there is a massive otherworldly mystery afoot here. I'm the center of it. It's obvious someone did me over. Got fucked bad. Hmm. Um. I think I'm going to go with number two. In that case, I think I might have a premonition for you. Silence is foreboding. She extinguishes her cigarette. It's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Hmm. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Oh, did I... Did I offend her by saying that? Because... Now she's like, oh, looks like she left a nice long stub after it's still smoking. She think that I was going to think that she might have something to do with it. Well, because I don't. Should we bother her? I don't I don't know if I want to bother her. Try to handle. This door can only be opened with a key from the inside. Why would I do that? There's no answer. She doesn't want to talk to me. I hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. I'm so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me. All this ugliness. Swallow the emotion. The door is indifferent to your loneliness. The world does not care. Huh. That's... That's true. I, I think... Like, it's it's basically how we handle it. It's, it's really up to us. And nothing else is gonna... Manage it for us. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper. Okay. What is that? Um, what was that about? Did I pick it up? I don't know if we actually picked it up. Can we run on this game? There we go. There we go. I think this is the weight of the balcony. Don't be afraid to say weird things. People are more forgiven to persons of power. Like police officers. There we go. Yeah. Green snakeskin shoe. Aha. Look at that. Look at that beautiful man. Blah, 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 blah. Do, do, do. We can, now we can hit the disco for sure. Guess a briny wind washes over you. Uh, gain experience. There they are. Both are two identical shoes, both copu copiously green and discriminately snakeskin. United on your feet. Two baby crocodiles. <laughs> Wait, these do not look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Well, good. They're balanced. Comfy, because. Like the only thing good about you right now, truth be told. <laughs> Jeez, this is my. Who's talking to me like constantly, just bashing me? Is that our own self? So you continue. You can't open, equip a pry bar. Does that mean that we're being hard on ourselves? Yeah, double time. I don't think there's anything else for us. Revocal is pronounced Revachol. <laughs> Orange is pronounced Oranye. Oranye. 
collage. Kind of reads though. That's what I'm talking about. Disco. Disco time. This is where the lyrics would be. Big old karaoke music. Mike, just waiting for someone to sing to it. It's a cue for us. The speaker is connected to the radio and the music is seasoned. Static. Uh, a man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, expecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, she gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. Sideways? And look at me sideways? Don't let anybody get away with that. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Really? Something tells me you don't like me. Hmm. Oh no. You're a hero. A real hero, cop. <laughs> you. that is the most sarcastic thing I've ever heard in my life. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Not only am I a cop, but also am a hero? Let's play along. Yes, you are a real decorated hero. <laughs> what did you not do? First, <laughs> you took the body down. Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't try to my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Is he saying that I did not do any of this? Um. Oh my god. I did all those things. I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. Do not appreciate your tone. This is a way to talk to an officer. You're right. You didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. <laughs> what have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me no, around? I haven't seen you around. Not always here. With that face, it looks like you've been always here. <laughs> looks down again. Keeps plucking at the bird. That's biz that's that's something. You'll never see a bartender uh, plucking a bird in the bar. That's how it should be all the time, though. It's like when you order something from the kitchen, you just say like, "I want, I want that, you know, I want that fried chicken." They're gonna go and get it and pluck pluck the chicken and boil it and everything. Something tells me you don't like me. You already said that. Competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of posters. And dry mugs, one of its wings broken, the man is trying to mend it. This the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Oh, okay. This is a great skewer. The seabird is a symbol of the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Great scuba. Something about it makes you feel better. What happened to the bird? That's the great skewer, right? Look, your body is over there. He looks at the door where I'm on. Man in bomber jacket tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, what do you mean, my buddy? And I'm a cop. I talk to whoever I please, and I am talking to you right now. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. You slimy, slimy character. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Look like the bartender to me. It's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touch. What's the difference? You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. Alright, okay. But, uh, what's the I difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. 
Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. All right. She just, you know. She just what? Uh, his eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding. From... She just so what? Now you're a cop. Forget it. Hmm. Interesting. What happened to Sylvie? You should totally sing karaoke here. First chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My souls keep it content is obscured by the hangover. Of course, at this point, precise measurement of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Through a PA system. Why other people? What should I sing when it comes to it? I can't. Why other people? Can I just not sing? In my head? You should sing the sad small church song from the tape you found. I thought it was obvious. Uh, of course. I really get a gauge on myself. <laughs> yeah, they would. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the crowd going. Oh no, don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You would need another copy tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. What should I sing? Um. Okay, let's see what happens. Serves him right. Wipe that smite off her face with her sad, tragic tongue. Who's laughing at no one? Uh, what sh <laughs> Oh, so I, I actually did sing it already. Gotcha. Okay, I think that's just a little confused how the game works just now. We're gonna need a tape if I want to sing again. The menu has... Been wiped clean on the board Mondays right now. Woman hands wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. Ah, the plot gets thicker. No, so bad. What is that? What does that do? I want to talk. I want to find out. Uh, tools. Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? What did I just pick up? Do I just drink it? What happened? This is water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Soft fur of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Could be Sylvie. The door is bolted. The sign reads kitchen serve. Personal until one o'clock. It's only eight thirty-seven. Sign reads: Mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open at four o'clock. Talk to this lady. Hello, sweetie. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Hmm. Okay. That's my colleague. Uh, no, that is, uh, my partner. <laughs> this royal pinball machine is unplugged. What else we got in here? Bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful, dark liquid spilling out. I have never called any drink beautiful. Unless it was, obviously, was mixed and everything and put on a, on a glass. A nice glass. But I have never, ever, thought of a spilled drink beautiful. <laughs> that sugary black rum is stained on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. Almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Uh, pretty long as drink o'clock. Boy, it's coming back to him. You had your missile 
Melalembek. Reward pathway worried there. Not thinking about drinking all that time. It was like you weren't yourself. I've been secretly thinking about all this time. <laughs> Actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Now that you mention it, do I need a rum and lemonade? I'd love for Gart to serve me up a beverage. Um, yeah, let's do this. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking? Get a damn rum and lemonade into yourself, boy. Better yet, like that stain off the counter. <laughs> like it, but only a little. You lick it, but only a little. Only with the tip of your tongue, because you're a pleasure. The layer. After two or three licks, the crust begins to melt. Sweetness breaks loose. Sharp titillating scent of alcohol rises to your nostrils. It's dizzy. Tasking, find booze and drink it. Oh, no. We could definitely go for some more. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. The man is sleeping at a table wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. Back of his shirt reads wild pines circled by a logo with a tree. Uh, on the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Pick up the pills. Wake him up. Let's wake him up. I don't want to pick up the pills. He might need it after he wakes up. Check failure. Uh, you gently shake your shoulder, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in the ship's engine. I'm not gonna pick up the pills because he might need it when he wakes up. I don't want to steal them. That's stealing. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go talk to uh, this guy here. Um. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Just need to find. Kim, Kim Kitsuragi. A spectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Ew. So you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the window came crashing down and the world, whole world descended upon you. This man would hurl himself to death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? They are our best friend, our brother, our lover. We don't know. Let's find out. Hold on, who is he to be? He is your half brother. Ah. Uh. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. I don't know why I totally believe that. <laughs> oh my gosh, the game totally bamboozled me. Hello, I'm Kim. Uh, okay. Continue. Realize he's waiting for your for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. I've been playing this game almost an hour. I'm just now thinking about kind of name I'm giving my character. I don't really know my name. Get a name for yourself. Let's do that. Uh fine. Raphael Ambrosius Custo. So cool, it's very cool, but I won't when I come off like a douche if I call <laughs> It's very, very cool, but maybe just a bit too ostentatious. Let's do it. No, you won't, Raphael. Uh, it's one classy name and you're one classy cop. Say it. What is all this thing? I love how like all these things are just talking to me. It's just... Just a back and forth with your mind. <laughs> how many people do I have in my brain? Uh, my name, 
My name, my name is Jeff. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Custu. Yes, well. He doesn't even process what you just said. Just moves on. Not for a moment does he believe that's your real name. Cast it aside as an intrepid intra departmental joke or a peculiar law. He doesn't understand. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Yes, he doesn't like me. What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. But you have been otherwise occupied. Otherwise, shit face. You mean him? Uh, towards the cafeteria manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. Uh. Okay. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Yes. Uh, okay. No, well, I'm, I'm not it sure. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> what interviews? Um, I have not. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you okay. removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body from the tree? I don't know about no dead body. I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know. Yeah. No, completely. Dead body. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like dead bodies. <laughs> Look, man, you know. Yeah. Um. So the body is still in the tree. For three days. Um, I don't know how long it's been. This is the first time you detect awareness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious you would have preferred for the body no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Oh my gosh. It it has not been three days. It has been seven days. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? No, I'm not going to do that. How can you be so sure? I'm from the police. I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Um, okay, let's get going then. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just go. After you, officer. You're about to embark on an investigation. Shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? I mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Um, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's just report your badge missing. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. Getting the body down should still take precedence. I agree. I agree. Uh, Three. Lieutenant Kim Kasurai is now in your party. Ah, nice. It's like uh, the old days. You can have a. You can have a party. Old days of uh, RPG games. Uh, did he say we should talk to this guy? No. Mr. God, right? You run this place. Yes. Response first. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. It looks you're realizing he still doesn't know your name. Uh, as I said. <laughs> Can I have a drink? <laughs> so tempting. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. No, you could not. <laughs> Officer, I was thinking more along the lines of your name. Sure, fine. Right. Now, I know it took still you doesn't while to me. arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. 
She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Ah, uh, okay. Do you have her number? In a matter of fact, I do. Looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? With Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias. Many. Very many cafeterias. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Okay. I didn't imply that. Detective? Probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right. Any questions. I got this. Why? Why do I sound such an idiot? Play the fool. His face expressed profound doubt when you're having this. <laughs> Look, buddy. Alright? Better start taking me serious. Where exactly is the body? Behind his building. There's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted him up. Let's be there. How did we get there then? It's easy. See that door there? Points to the west. You see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. Both can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Okay, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. Not the police, it's your job. Did you kill him? What? Are you crazy? Or is it? Did I kill him? Why did Sylvie go away? Uh, what is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. Oh, before I asked you where, now I'm asking why. Ah. Caught him. Caught him. Caught him. Caught him. Okay, you got me. She went away before because of the dead body out back. Because I asked her for her number. My Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. The lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. Number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank you, he says. Uh, Mr. Solf. Is it because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching that my employer conned up? <laughs> this stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Thing has something to do with everything. I don't know, I just went for it. You're right, I probably shouldn't have asked. Good for you. There's something else. I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Nope. Can I still have that drink? <laughs> Gained experience plus 30. That's pretty good. Let's go. Not so fast. She points to you. You owe me 130. Real. It's, what's real? It's real. What's that mean? Slip away unnoticed. Let's try it. Let's try it. What? It worked? <laughs> That's not slipping away unnoticed. I. I freaking ran! I ran out of there. There's, there's no way he wouldn't have noticed that. As you blow this joint behind you, a whiny voice shouts. Real mature. Real mature, man. Real mature. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... This has been such a fun game so far. Oh, I hope you guys are liking it. Um, there's going to be a lot of reading. I mean, I'm going to be talking a lot, I guess, uh, throughout this entire series. I would love uh, this entire series on YouTube. But it all, I guess it all depends, too, um, if, if people if people like it. Let me know what you think about the game so far. Uh, let me know what, what you think about my video. I hope you guys like that, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.